to some sort of pain You caused a permanent stain Which has determined your fate I've never seen so clear I feel the end and it's near The day of reckoning's here The sound of death and in fear Oh uh. Welcome to the What's Your Story special edition podcast. Thank you for joining us. We're here with Gary Tiger Boletto, Gary Batman Boletto, and Aiden A.B. Boletto. How you doing, guys? Great. Thanks for coming down, Sal. Any, any time. So we got a big fight coming up. Two big fights, actually. Uh, one on Mar- it's both on March 25th. Uh, we have the classic Invitational, where Aiden's fighting, and then we have the CS Box in Road Wars Three, where Gary's fighting. So, are you guys excited? You guys ready to go? Oh yeah, yeah. Born ready. Born ready. Well, I we're here at uh, Batman Boleto Gym here in Cranston, Rhode Island, and I seen you training, training hard. Mm, um, always. Yep. So you had a great workout. And I know you're ready to go. Um, a question for you, Aiden. You know, last time I was here, you needed some boxing gloves. Did you get those boxing gloves? I got them. You got I them? Got, I got like the a, gloves, yeah. Was that like a Christmas present? Oh, what was that? Birthday, Christmas. Um, so you just got them to get them. Got them to get them. Yeah. Good thing my dad loves me. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled. Spoiled. When I was growing up, I had to use, like, uh, kitchen mittens. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Gary, he was bugging you, and you was <laughs> kind of like, ah, I don't know, but you broke down and you got him for him. Yeah. Yeah. I was poor when Gary was growing up. Now I'm <laughs> more wealthy with Aiden growing up. Okay. So he's the spoiled kid. He's a spoiled one. He's the, uh, the golden boy, Gary. Yeah. Yep. You think he's a golden boy? Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> that's, that's Princess Aiden. <laughs> so, uh, so how old are you, Aiden? I'm 17. 17. Not even a man yet. But I sure you fight like a man, right? I hope so. Uh, you hope so. <laughs> so how long have you been in boxing? Um, I started taking it seriously like a few years ago. Mm-hmm. But I've been like born in the gym with my brother and my dad. Like, yeah, like, you were you were there all your life. Now, seen it. Gary was telling me a story when he used to do the pull-ups that he got you on that bar and you were doing like at what age, Gary? Seven. Seven years old. Seven years old, you did like 20, 20, yeah. 20 pull-ups? Yeah. yeah. That's now, I, now I can do 47. 47. And how old was he when he did 20? Seven. Seven. So now he's 17, so he should do 10 times as many, right? So he should be at 70. Yeah. Should be. Should be. <laughs> That'll be a super world record. Yeah, yeah. So um, so, you, uh, so you get your fight coming up. Now, recently, uh, I believe it was in November, you won a title, 2022 Rocky Marciano. Uh, the title. Rocky Marciano tournament. Now tell us, about, tell us about that. What is, it, what is that title exactly? Um, it's just a tournament mm-hmm. for Rocky Marciano, but... Yeah, okay. that was that was fun. Now, how many people did you have to do with several fights or? Nah, I fought. Fun? I fought one time. I was. I had a. What do you call it? A bye. A bye. Oh, you time. had a bye. Now, how first was that? Because week. your last name is Boletto, or why did you get that yeah. money? Yeah, because your father had some so. pull <laughs> to pay somebody off. Well, you know what it is? It's his weight class and it's his age. So okay. his his age. There's not a lot of fighters. You have to be between 17 and 18 years old. Okay, and you have to have. X amount of fights within those fights, so you know there was there wasn't a lot of it's competition. It's not like being a regular open class boxer where you're fighting everybody. So you have to kind of qualify. Type yeah, of thing. he's yeah. still in the novice division. Okay. So in other words, there's a lot more competition when you get up to the open class. Up in open class, yes. So um, so you 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 won that title, um, and you are fighting on the 25th. Yes. Do you, who are you fighting? I'm not sure. You don't. Know who you're fighting? No, no, your amateurs, you don't really know until like, okay, the day so of. We know his name. It's oh. Anthony Williams. <laughs> Anthony Williams, and where is he from? Is he from, um, is he local? Do you know? It's gonna, you know? He's from New England. We don't know where. New England. Okay, so you don't know too much about this this guy? So you don't do any prep fighting, watching f- no, uh, any amateurs? Well, you don't he's really in the yeah. novice division, so uh-huh. it's, with, it's within zero to five fights. Okay. So, and then, then there's between six <laughs> and ten fights, and then it's open where it doesn't matter how many fights you have. 
Okay. So All he's right. still in the novice division. Now, how long uh, do you think you're going to be in the novice division? Do you know? Um, Is it? Probably by the, by the end of this, mo- uh, this month. Right? <laughs> well, fifth actually. Um, this will be the fifth fight, so. Yeah, but then you'll go. It'll, I think it's sub novice, then novice, up to 10 fights. And then once you. By next get year. Ten, yeah. There's next five fights, it'll be open. Okay. All right. So next year you should be uh, open class. Open class. Okay. So where do you see yourself uh, taking this boxing? Do you have any ideas? Um, what would you like? I'm not sure yet. I don't know. You I know. enjoy it. I love being in the gym and oh, you have a passion for it. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. I want to. I want to be pro one day. All right. Do you think Olympics maybe? Because I know your father would mention that he had a op- he had opportunity yeah, to do the Olympic Olympics, but then he chose to go pro. Yeah, so, that's an option. Uh, yeah. Try, I think it's next year, so maybe I'll qualify and maybe I'll try it out. So Sometimes it's a matter of luck of what year the Olympics happens okay. opposed to your age. All right. And it happened to be like I was just turned 20 and that was, you know, I, I only had limited 20 amateur fights at the time. Okay. So you, I, I, I missed... I missed the Olympics. You know, you have to win a national title. And I didn't win. I was at the nationals, but I lost in the quarterfinals. I, I lost to the guy that won on both, both tournaments that I was both qualifiers. I, I, I lost to the guy that, that won the um, was it, you know, Olympic mm-hmm. trials. But, um, you know, it's the luck, luck of the draw, the right. timing, your age. All that has and to line up because it's every four it, years. At the point, it was either I waited four more years for the Olympics and I would have a very good shot of doing that. Right. But then you're behind, you know, four years of a pro career where you could be making money. Mm-hmm. So. Right, it's a right. decision. So you that had time. that; it landed so that you had to make that choice. Right. So, yeah. So that's good. So you're you're enjoying that. You're uh, got the fight coming up. Are you ready? You're, you've been yeah. training hard. Oh, yeah. what, what is your training uh, process like? What do you? Um, I usually run every day, mm-hmm. and then I come and train with Gary. Okay. Does Gary be rough you up a little bit? Does he oh, go yeah. easy on you? If he acts up. <laughs> Does he uh, does he go easy on you? Think or no. he, he gives you a hard time? Yeah, yeah, that's good. You need that. See, you're fighting yeah. your brother, and then when you get in the ring with this other guy, you're just gonna whoop him, right? Yeah, that's my advantage. Uh, there my you brother. go. So, uh, get, speaking of your brother, Gary, so we're at your boxing gym. Uh, I saw you training. Now you are a MMA fighter, but you also box. So <sighs> now you're going into the boxing now, or you do you still, you know? I jump around wherever the wind blows. Yeah. So just whatever, 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 yeah. Whatever. So um, how's your training going? You're, you're feeling good? Yeah. You're feeling good for the fight? You've been... Uh, I'm always in the gym. It's my job to be a... Uh, absolutely you know, training. I, don't, I wouldn't training. know what else to do with myself. Right. So how long have you been fighting? My whole life. Whole life? Since you were uh, out the womb? Out the womb. <laughs> you were just fighting. I came out fighting. Yeah, you were much. a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I started competing at four years old. Oh, wow. Now, so, was that boxing? Boxing, boxing. yeah, yeah. Okay. I started, that's the thing, that's the misconception, right? Is, yeah. uh, you're, you're because you're you're pretty big in the MMA now. Because I, yeah. I have more experience uh, in pro MMA that, uh, you know, it, it often gets overlooked that uh, that I was a boxer first. Okay. So, right. so I would imagine, because, you know, I watch some MMA and a lot of guys uh, – Stand up isn't that mm. great. Mm. They focus on the the BJJ. Yeah, and, there's a big and discrepancy then once they get, between yeah. boxing and, and MMA. The, the 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 striking skill level, the the boxing skill level. Right. You know. Is, so I think you got to have the best. You must have a pretty decent advantage because you uh, you have the best of both worlds. So you like I mean you're a trained boxer yeah. because it seems like they'll start off in the martial arts, yeah. uh, jujitsu or whatever martial arts they're doing. Jujitsu is the biggest thing now, right. um, and then they'll work on their yeah, stand up, right? right? So one's lacking, and it seems like you're probably pretty well rounded. Is that yeah, pretty fair, accurate? Fair to say. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good. So, um, so who are you fighting? Fighting Rafael Torres. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's out You've of uh, out of Massachusetts. He's two and zero with two knockouts. Strong okay. kid. All right. Yeah, I know everything. You know everything. I know you, everything. You know his game. I know what he eats for breakfast. Oh. I know his favorite color is blue. All right. I know he likes long walks. No, I I don't know too much. But, no. um, you know, something about the way I like to prepare is I, I don't look too much into my opponent until the day of the fight. Oh, really? Because I don't like to base a camp around one singular opponent because you see in the fight game very often, you know, you start out with one opponent and, 
Last mm. minute, you got another. Yeah. And uh, a I good think it's chains like that, right? I think uh, a well-rounded fighter is prepared to fight any style, anybody, right? And right. and what you think you're going to be seeing is might not be what you see. Right. right. So if you base your whole camp on that, then all, all of a sudden it switches up on you. They, mm-hmm. you, it's got to you got to be adaptable. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. that's probably one of the best translations between. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. Best translations between life and and the gym. Right. Mm-hmm. Is you learn to be adaptable. You learn to be resilient, and I think that's probably the one of the biggest things about being a good fighter is being able to make that change on the fly based on what you're reading in front of you. Right. 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 What's your reading level? Mm-hmm. Right. And I think that is what makes uh, you you're more able to to adapt to what's in front of you. Nice. Yeah. yeah so that's pretty good. You must be very proud of your sons, Gary. Very, very proud. Now, did you expect them to take after you? Or didn't you say at one point you didn't want them to fight? No, I, didn't. Uh, I never wanted yeah. them yeah. to fight either one of them because I know what I went through and the pain and suffering, and I felt like I needed to do that at the time. Mm-hmm. They don't need to do that as much as I did. Right. But this kid's a natural-born killer. That's, yeah. that's you, basically you, you, how he you grew You said up. that, yeah. Natural-born killer. Right. Well, that's why, you know, that's his living. He does it for a living. You know, and he's he's all in. You know? I see, and, and uh, then I never thought Aiden was going to be doing this, and then he picked it up. I think it's just being around you, being around his brother. Yeah. You just it's just what you do. Yep. You know, and you said your grandfather or father, well, grandfather was grandfather, a fighter. Grandfather, my father. So so Boletto is mm. boxing, right? Yep. That's a good tag. So, or logo. Some, Boletto some is boxing. Kind of fighting. Some kind of fighting. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's that's awesome. So you guys are fighting March uh, 25th. You have the early fight. Uh, when does that start? Um, starts, that starts at 1 o'clock. Starts at yeah. 1 o'clock. Um, and this is at uh, Park, Park Theater, Park Park Theater, Theater in, Cranston. in Cranston. Yep, right on Park Avenue. Okay. And, then, and then the pro show will start at 7 o'clock in the evening. And J- uh, Gary's going to be fighting on the pro show. Yep. Do you know what fight you are? Do they tell you? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, not, is that, I think he's the co-main event. Okay, so he'll be so be he'll late, so, later on. Yeah. Later on. So how do we get tickets if anybody wants to go to this fight? We, we have tickets personally. Um, okay. Uh, the the fighters get a little um, bonus on the tickets they sell. So okay, if you get them from us, it'll benefit them. I'm gonna get mine from you tonight. Perfect. Okay. And good luck, Gary. Thank you. I Thanks wish you well. Us. I don't think you need luck, Matchup Born Killer. <laughs> Aiden, good luck, and I think you. you're, you're going to keep your uh, winning streak up. Oh, yeah, so thank you. Everybody, um, March 25th, afternoon, 1 o'clock, 7 p.m., Park Theater, March 25th. Get your tickets. And, and we're, we're open to suggestions for uh, nicknames for Aiden. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. Aiden doesn't have a nickname yet. We've been talking about you know, a lot a of funny ones. Yeah, well, we, you can't like say those him. on air, Gary. <laughs> you can't say those on air. <laughs> um, but yes, if anybody has any suggestions for a uh, a golden boy, what about golden? That's probably been taken, huh? That's been taken. Yeah, it's been taken. A bit. That's too. Yeah. So any uh, suggestions? To feel natural. free to, to live it in, leave it in the comment, please, and uh, sure. we'll, we'll take those suggestions. We'll have to think. So thank you for joining us, guy. We wish you guys. We wish you well. Wish you luck, Gary. Thanks again for setting us up and coming back on. And we'll see everybody on March 25th at the Park Theater. Have a good day. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
now, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Oh